Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Pixellab.net. Uh, one thing I've been doing a lot lately is replacing screens in After Effects. So I'll render something out and then composite in the screen in After Effects. Um, so let me go ahead and walk you through a problem really quick and then a really quick tip uh, to help you save a ton of time. So here's the plane right here. This is the screen. All right, now before we make this editable, I want you to set up your external compositing tag correctly. Uh, right now it says that it's 200 by 100 and that is gonna be how it brings this solid into After Effects. But 200 by 100 is not the dimensions of this plane right now. So what we can do is go into the plane and in the width and the height, what we can do is just copy and paste these into the external compositing tag. So if we copy that, go to the external compositing tag, paste that into the X, and then go back to the plane, copy the height, and we'll go back to our external compositing tag and paste that in to the height. Now when it brings it into After Effects, we will have something that's 24 by 42, which is the exact size of this plane. So that'll set that up perfectly. So this is the way the screen is set up right now. Let's go ahead and save out this frame. And what we're gonna do is do a compositing project file and we'll go ahead and save that uh, to a test folder. We'll call that five and we'll save that. And uh, I already saved out the frame. All right, so let's go ahead and jump over into After Effects and let's go ahead and import our file. Go to where it was and import that AEC file, which will bring in all the compositing data. And let's open up that comp. Now, if we go to the frame that I've rendered, you see that we have a huge problem here. The plane, which is supposed to match the iPhone perfectly, is completely distorted and jacked up, right? It's gonna be really hard to match it up perfectly. So that basically means you set it up wrong in Cinema 4D. Okay, so the problem is, if you check out these world coordinates, uh, the way that the blue handle is pointing up and the uh, green one's pointing out. Basically, these affect the way that this plane comes into After Effects and they have to be set up properly. So the way to change the axis point is we have to take this plane and hit C to make it editable and then go ahead to your axis tool here and check that on. And then what we can do is actually rotate and uh, do it in 90 degree increments. And then now if we look at this guy, you can see that the blue handle instead of pointing up is not pointing this way. And now what we could do is kind of render it out and test it again and see if that worked. The problem is there's a lot of combinations that might work. So here's your quick tip for the day. And it involves this guy right down here. This is the world axis system. And this is the way that uh, After Effects interprets all the data of your scene as well. So basically your plane needs to be matched up with this guy right here. So if we go ahead and kind of rotate around this guy, you'll see that our world axis is rotating with it. So you can see that the blue needs to be pointing back in Z space and the green needs to be pointing up. So now we have a quick reference to show us exactly what our uh, axis point needs to do. So let's go ahead and hit rotate. We'll, uh, oops, gotta make sure we're in the right mode here. Go ahead and rotate it 90 degrees up and hit E so we can see our handles again. You'll see that the green one's now sticking up but the blue one's sticking to the left. So we need to rotate it one more time. Go ahead and flip it 90 degrees that way. And now if we check it out, you'll see that the right is red, pointing back is blue, just like this one, and up is green. And now we should be in business. So let's go ahead and resave that out import that and then we'll jump to the frame we rendered and there you go. You can see that our screen is brought in perfectly, exactly matched up with the iPhone screen. So that's just a really quick way to know exactly which way your axis handles need to be pointing. It'll save you a lot of time. Just uh, make a note of the, the world axis and then make sure that the axis of whatever you're bringing to, uh, into After Effects matches that. Thanks guys and we'll talk again next time. Bye.